I want to talk about these quickly before they go into the Tremaine stuff. I was fortunate and very lucky enough, and I think this is a again a further example of just maybe how big Supreme has become over the years. Um, I first started buying, I don't know when I started buying Supreme, many, many years ago. And I remember when I started, first started buying Supreme, the only way to kind of get it was through proxies. You'd essentially have to contact somebody who lived next to a Supreme store or who could order it for you online. They'd have to send it to you. That's the only way you could actually get it. There wasn't any stores in London that sold it. Maybe for a brief time, Hideout may have done something. There might have been some con um, some consignment stores, sorry, that had some bits and pieces. Maybe the old vintage store had some old bits and pieces. But to get new stuff that was released at that time, you have to kind of get it via a proxy. And usually, for me, what I'd used to do, because I was fairly well known on a few forums like Super Future and Fifth Dimension and Crooked Tongues and FUK.UK -F and stuff, um, I had the ability to maybe contact a few people to get them to get me stuff. But then what I'd usually do to make it easy is I would usually always go for things that weren't too hyped. So you'd go for a jacket that people didn't really give a shit about, a hoodie that wasn't a box logo. You'd go for like, you know, random hats, random bags. And usually people would be more than willing to happy to get that for you because it didn't require having to queue up super long to get it. So all that to say, it was always a bit of a hassle to kind of get Supreme. Then obviously it blows up, it becomes super big. Everyone becomes fans of it. They open up stores around the world. Um, they accept in, in, you know, investment from VF Corp. And obviously now it's kind of gone into overdrive. And I feel like now with all the new stores opening, it feels like with each store opening, there's an increase in the amount of SKUs that they have or the quantity of SKUs of each SKU. So now there's more stuff being made um, to kind of fulfill demand and to obviously stock up and to obviously um, you know, fill up the shelves of each store. So I feel like now is probably the best and worst time to buy Supreme. Worse because everyone wears it, right? Supreme is not, is no, it's not, it's no more a counterculture underground brand anymore it's now the mainstream it's basically supreme is of the level like it, it's, it's kind of like the street uh, equivalent of like wearing i don't know um obey or something right it's not that it's obviously not as corny as obey but it's like of that level of kind of notoriety like everyone knows what it is so in that regard it's a bit you know it's not the coolest thing to wear anymore but if you still like the product like i do because i feel like in each season there's always about 60 percent of stuff that i would easily wear which I think is a really good percentage for a streetwear company that essentially just makes the same things all the time, hoodies, t-shirts, jeans, hats and shit. It's also the best time to get it because the quantities are increased. So I was able to, to um, earlier on, well, yesterday actually, I was able to get both the flipping highs of the Ramalizi, um Supreme Dunks and also the lows. I got both pairs with ease, no bots, no nothing, just ordering it from my phone simple easy peasy got both of them in a size 10 so i'm looking forward to getting them when they do land it's been a long time since i've worn ducks i'm not the biggest dunk guy um personally i kind of detest them to be completely fair but you know if, if it being a supreme collaboration with it being a ramalizi shoe which i've always been a fan of him anyway in terms of an artist and stuff and you know in terms of the colorways too i feel like the high is obviously the the standout for me um i feel like this type of shape i would get a lot more wear out of them on a day-to-day -day basis in terms of wearing them with shorts and some of my cargoes and whatnot but i feel like day-to-day -day, because i've been cycling a lot more than i was before in the past i feel like the the what you would call it the dunk lows will always will also be something that i would also get a lot of wears out because from what i've seen from people outside and stuff as much as i don't like dunk um sb lows they look a lot more they look less fat than they were before they're not i don't know i remember when i used to buy a lot of dunk sbs they, they kind of had a very big wide chunky feel to them i feel like now the toes kind of been a bit slimmed out a little bit obviously they still got the fat tongue but this front bit which would essentially be you know the bit that will pop into my clips or the bit that might you know rub up against some grip tape if you're skating and shit i feel like this has been a bit this has been slimmed out a little bit it's a bit flatter than it was in the past so i feel like these will make for some actual good um everyday cycling shoes or stuff just to kind of beat around because as much as i like because at the moment now my day-to-day -day kind of like you know vans i kind of wear i wear kind of vans day-to-day -day, especially if i'm cycling these little um branded vans i bought uh, from goodhood in the sale but you know vans i've not worn them in a long time and they're extremely uncomfortable i feel like you feel every little pebble on the street so you know i'm not gonna wear air force ones with my fucking 
bike or my fixie so i think the the nice little middle ground for between the vans and an air force one is these dunks so i'm looking forward to wearing these day-to-day -day cycling and shit and beating them up a bit because i feel like this suede once it's worn in and even um some of the materials here on the side once it's all kind of got a bit weathered and shit i think all of that um is going to really really help um to kind of you know to kind of make everything look a bit more worn look a bit look a, more, look a bit more worn in sorry and really nice when i weren't there today but i was just surprised i'll be able to get them with no bots no nothing i just i woke up at like a decent time i um, had my phone in my hand just quickly boop, 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 put them in my basket and it kind of went really quickly and um went through really quickly sorry which i think is more of an evidence that you know supreme has become incredibly popular over the years and they probably made way more of these than people actually realized because you know they had to uh, fulfill the you know the the fucking need of each stores and also whatever online stock that they had and usually and usually from my experience um you know from my experience anyway online stock is different from the one they have on the retail stores honestly usually from what i know but i don't know if i'm i may be mistaken but i know from usually uh, they have a separate inventory for online a separate inventory for the for their retail store so they probably had a lot of these available but um i was able to get them without any hassle from checking on social a lot of people got them too without any hassle but one thing i was curious about the resale hasn't been that high man the resale is pretty decent to be fair um i feel like so if you if you didn't be, if you weren't able to buy them outright if you check on StockX, um the latest price now for the same size that i purchased in like a size 10 right yeah your size 10 it's 335 pounds which i know it's not 128 don't get me wrong but i just mean more so if you're somebody that doesn't isn't bothered about spending double to get the thing that you need you know i think spending 335 pounds on on this pair isn't too bad you know that's a good thing about it yo big up austin case Big up, who's this? Ram LZ. Big fan. Never met him. Azino. <laughs> Sonity. Big up, big up, big up, big up. Uh, big up, Sonity, for the $2. Uh, no, for the three dollars. Sorry, sorry there. I appreciate you, brother. Um, yeah, big fan. Never met him. Appreciate you. Thank you for that. Um, but yeah, um, I like them. And three hundred is not too shabby. I think as a price to get them in your hands if you don't want to wait around and you know do the whole bot thing or or sit on your phone and refresh all the time. So it's three hundred for the lows so far, and then on StockX for the highs. So it's sh okay. It's proof that w I think we all thought the same. Because I, I felt like the highs, the low, sorry, were the standout pair, personally. Especially with the black, um, you know, with the black toe box, the black midsole and the gum outsole. But it looks like people aren't fans of the highs because the highs are only going for £236. So clearly the highs are the less popular version of these shoes. Which I think is odd because I still think they look pretty sick. But the highs so far £236. So again, just a, just a bit under double that you could pay if you do want to purchase them after the fact. So... They're available there to still get, which is pretty cool. Nice to see that um, it doesn't, you know, they ain't sold out or anything. Um, it, well, sorry, they're not, they're not, they're not like crazy high expensive, so you can't purchase them. And um, they're still within a relative range, so maybe these make a lot of sense. But I'm, I'm, I'm happy to get them. I'm oh, sorry, I can't wait to get them when they do eventually do land. And um, yeah, I'm gonna get a lot of wears out of these. Obviously, they today on my bike, but I'm looking forward to wearing the whites also with a pair of shorts and whatnot and cargos when that eventually happens. So big up Supreme for having loads of stock. Big up Supreme for having loads of stock.